Hey everyone, Mtashed here, and I've been playing a lot of different games lately. I recently made a video about what makes loot feel good in video games, and one of the games I mentioned was Destiny. There isn't a lot of really top tier, godly, awesome, exciting loot pieces in Destiny that you want to chase down. And there aren't a lot of really cool activities to do that lead to really cool gear. One of the only examples is the Whisper of the Worm when it first came out. Hard, exciting, challenging content for an amazing reward. And I also mentioned another game, RuneScape. Now in RuneScape there is a very difficult activity that has multiple waves with multiple bosses in it that can pretty much one hit you if you make a mistake and at the end of it you get a fire cape or the infernal cape or there's a Tokar Kalket, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, depending on the version of this that you're playing. Now these capes are the best in slot. This is a very tough activity, so getting a reward that is the best cape is pretty damn rewarding. It is pretty damn exciting, and it is worth putting in the time and effort to get it. And other than something like maybe Whisper of the Worm, or the Escalation Protocol Ikelos shotgun when it first came out, there isn't a lot of content in Destiny where the reward is so powerful and exciting that people will do whatever it takes to get it. There aren't that many people that are willing to try the raid 50 times to get average loot, right? But you might see someone fail 50 times trying to get the fire cape in RuneScape because they know that once they finally get it, it is worth that time and effort. And unfortunately, there aren't enough of those things in Destiny. There aren't enough of these activities where the item at the end is so satisfyingly powerful or exciting or changes the way you play that many people don't do many of the activities in this game. Even me, with a lot of the content that's come out recently, it's fun for a day or two, but a fractionally, fractionally better item usually doesn't get me to play it long term. If you look at some of the items from Gambit Prime, they're not wowing me and making me go crazy and chase them. And I know many of you feel the same way. So today I wanted to talk about a potential activity, the Destiny Gauntlet, or the Gauntlet of Champions. Now this is obviously fictitious, this is something I'm making up, and I am definitely being influenced by the RuneScape fight caves where you get the fire cape. But just picture this for one second. We're gonna look at this room, and we're gonna pretend this is one of the rooms for this activity. We've got some vertical space, we've got some cover, maybe some hazards in the middle of the room. And this would be where you fight multiple waves of enemies, and finally, at the end, reach a final boss. Now there'd be multiple mechanics, and I'm going to lay out just a, an approximation of what you might see in an activity like this. Things would start off slow, with maybe two goblins in the first round. In the next round, two goblins and one hobgoblin. Then two goblins and two hobgoblins. Then you throw in a minotaur. And then a minotaur and goblins. And it would slowly ramp up until you're fighting 24 goblins, 20 hobgoblins, 16 harpies, 8 minotaurs, and even a gatekeeper. A massive increase in difficulty and the need to save supers and heavy to wipe out as many of these as you can. Afterwards, we'd make our way to the final boss. Round 30 would need some sort of cool mechanic that would force you to not only slay the boss, but deal with outside threats or mechanics such as oracles. If you're doing a Vex challenge, you would then have to deal with oracles while fighting this final boss. If you don't kill the oracles in time, you wipe and you have to start over. Now that sounds a little scary. That's going to be pretty damn intense. But can you imagine finally beating it? Can you imagine trying this 10 times over the course of a week and finally getting to the final boss and seeing him go down? To be rewarded with a cape that gives you 25% more damage to the Vex, 
or 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 super damage or or cooldown reduction or some massive boost to your character because you put in the time and effort. I have to say, just thinking of that gets me excited. Just thinking of the potential there makes me wish it was in the game. And maybe to really spice things up, they do class specific ones. There would be a Titan challenge, there would be a Warlock challenge, and a Hunter, and they would have different mechanics. What about a Cabal boss with a nuclear backpack? And if you don't pop a bubble shield when he goes to explode, you wipe. Every 33% of its health, it will charge up this nuclear explosion, and the Titan has to perfectly time that bubble to survive. What about a, a Vex charging a chest laser beam? And you need to shoot it with a hunter tether just to shut it down and suck some of the energy away so it can't wipe you out. Or, or maybe a warlock that requires you to throw down a well of radiance to survive a flaming room. Mechanics that would add to this fight and show mastery of your character. I think it would be not only exciting content, fun content to complete, but aspirational content to strive for. Yeah, a pro player that gets to play all day like someone like, like, like KJ Hovey. Maybe he can beat it on the first day. But other people can learn these mechanics and improve at the game and eventually get a kick-ass reward while feeling good about themselves for beating this really tough exciting content. I understand they don't want to give us absolutely OP items all the time, but it's an RPG game with space magic and killing hundreds of enemies. Why can't we have more tools in our arsenal to do so, and feel good about doing it? I really don't think that would be a terrible thing. I don't think that adding these awesome rewards would be a terrible thing. I know. We can't just sprint through raids because we're so strong, and there's a thing called power creep in video games. But in a game like this, I think it would be a lot more fun if we did have at least a little bit more power. If we felt super. If we felt like we were gods among aliens or machines or other guardians from time to time. If I jump into a strike with a guy that has completed all of the hardest content in the game, he should probably be better than me. He should probably be a pretty kick-ass guardian compared to the guy that's grinding strikes all day. They really shouldn't be comparable, but in Destiny, they kinda are. Your power level is one of the only thing that really dictates how powerful you are. There's no percentage gains on damage, there's no cooldown reduction other than maybe something like a super mod that everyone can get, and there's no sense of pride in any of the gear that I own. Even the raid gear, it doesn't make me feel good, it doesn't make me feel powerful, and in many cases I can find a random piece of gear out in the wild that competes with even the best raid weapons. The armor is absolutely a non-factor in this game, and anything that drops is most likely going to be usable. Other than maybe the enhanced perks on a couple pieces of gear here and there from the Dreaming City, nothing really excites us as players, and I think that's one of the biggest issues that Destiny has. If they were able to add activities, such as the Prison of Elders, for a solo player with amazing rewards at the end would actually have me grinding for them. But it has been a long, long time since I've cared about anything in this game. It has been a long, long time since I've gotten a reward that actually made me excited. And I think that's something that Destiny 3 needs to nail if they want to keep their players long term. PvP is important. Having things to do you know, week after week is important, but having some of these long-term goals and things you want to chase, I think is key to having a healthy game long, long term. Because the fans of Destiny are hardcore players. 
extremely hardcore players. I would say that most of us are borderline addicts. And if you don't give us those tools or activities or, or items that really get us hyped, you're going to lose us. That's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel, replace that gross, nasty coffee with some, some blue raspberry focus. Maybe try a little passion fruit punch, something to give you the energy to study, to edit, to work. No sugar, no calories. Use code MTASHED for 10% off. And uh, links are in the description. I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.